Welcome to the channel TLL the learning loop. In today's lecture we are going to discuss about the size and shapes of bacteria. So without wasting any time let's get started. Bacteria are the smallest of all known cellular organisms and they can only be seen with the help of a microscope. Bacteria are so tiny that its unit of measurement in bacteriology is micron or micrometer. 1 micrometer is equal to 0 0.001 millimeter. Did you know that a spoonful of soil contains about 100 million bacteria? Yes, you heard it right. According to the diameter, Bagiotoa mirabilis is the largest bacterium, whereas Dilister pneumocentis is probably the smallest bacterium known. Now, let's discuss about the shapes of bacteria one by one. So, the first one we have is the cocci. These are roughly spherical in shape and a single cocus shaped bacterial cell is called as monococcus. And depending upon the plane of division, cocci are of five different types. First one is diplococcus. Diplococcus bacteria is formed when a single cell is divided by a single plane of division and live as a pair. The second one is the streptococcus. These are formed when the cells keep on dividing through a single plane of division and forms a chain-like structure. These are pathogenic bacteria that cause several diseases. For example, Streptococcus pyogenes causes scarlet fever and Streptococcus pneumoniae causes middle ear infection and pneumonia. Then the third type of coccus is tetrad. Here, A single cell divides into two planes such that cells are arranged in a group of four. For example, Micrococcus luteus, the fourth type of cocal arrangement is called sarsina. It is formed when a cell gets divided by three planes of division. And it forms a group of eight cells. Then the fifth type of cocal arrangement is staphylococcus. Here the cells get divided into random planes and forms an irregular cluster which looks like a bunch of grapes. Coming on to bacilli, these are the rod-shaped bacteria which are may be present with or without flagella. Gram-positive bacilli can form endospore during adverse condition. Now, based on the arrangement of these rod-shaped cells, they are also classified into various types. First one is the bacillus. They occur as single rod-shaped cells and they can be pathogenic. For example, Salmonella enterica causes gastroenteritis, which is a gastrointestinal disorder. The next is Cocobacillus. It is short and oval in shape and appear like a coccus. Diplobacilli are basically two rods attached to each other. For example, Clipsilla rhinoscleromatis. Streptobacilli, similar to Streptococcus, divides in one plane and forms a chain-like arrangement. They are also pathogenic. For example, Streptobacillus pallis causes rat bite fever. Then the next type of bacilli is the palisades. This arrangement looks like a fence-like structure. Example, Corynebacterium diphtheria. It causes diphtheria in humans. 
Some bacteria are spiral or helical in shape. They are of two types. One is spirillum. It is rigid and bears flagella. Example, Helicobacter pylori. The second type is spirochete. It is thin and flexible and does not bear flagella. It causes serious diseases. Example, Treponema pallidum causes syphilis. The next type of bacteria are Vibrio shaped. These are comma shaped bacteria. They are mostly gram negative and are known to cause various food borne diseases. For example, Vibrio cholerae, it causes cholera in humans. Here are some questions from this topic. Comment down the answers in the comment section and I will post all the answers in the next video. So the first question is, which of these is a coxy occurring in single or pairs? Option A, diplococci. Option B, streptococci. Option C, tetracoxy. Option D, none of the above. The second question is, Bacteria with helically curved rods are known as option A, coxy, option B, bacillus, option C, pleomorphic, option D, spirilla. The third question is the match the following type of question where you have to match the bacteria with the disease caused by them. This one is also a match the following type question where you have to match the bacteria with its correct shape. Keep learning and thanks for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel for more such videos.